Hey everyone, Brent the Middleman, your middle age, middle manager in Middle America, here today with an ending explained video for season two of the criminally underrated HBO horror series, The Head. I'm telling you right now, if you haven't watched both seasons of The Head, stop the video, go binge watch them, come right back because you definitely don't want me spoiling anything. Now for those of you that are still here, go grab a life vest, don't trust anyone, because here we go. While season one took place in an isolated research facility in Antarctica, season two isolates the characters once again on a giant ship in the middle of the ocean. Yes, these locations have been used for horror purposes before, and they even comment on this in season one by watching John Carpenter's The Thing in the show, but it still manages to feel fresh and new. I was also a little skeptical coming out of season one that they'd be able to pull it off again, but they actually did. Season 2 starts off with the trial of Dr. Arthur Wilde, who was framed in Season 1 for the murder of eight people at the Polaris 6 Antarctic Research Station, and we get to see the woman who framed him, Dr. Maggie Mitchell, testifying against him. The testimony is pretty damaging, and it seems like Dr. Wilde is going down. But before he can be taken to prison, he is busted out and brought to a research ship where he's supposed to continue his search for an algae that can stop global warming. His research is backed by some mysterious benefactor, the silver-haired female Bond villain type. Just like in Season 1, the scientists are celebrating their discovery and having fun, but at some point during the night, Arthur's right-hand man lost his head. I guess you have to start each season of a show called The Head with someone getting their head cut off. The body is discovered the next day by Arthur's daughter and his head of security, who are also secretly hooking up. Just like in Season 1, more murders start happening and we are left trying to decide who the killer is. While all this is happening on the ship, we also cut to what the villain of Season 1 is doing. Maggie is in hiding while trying to track down Arthur after his escape because she is still pretty salty about him accidentally killing her mom. And all her snooping draws the attention of the rich old lady Bond villain and men are sent to kill her. They end up killing her sister instead just before Maggie kills both of them. And so yeah, she's really pissed now. Maggie ends up going to look for one of the scientists she's been tracking, and she is able to find out the name of the boat that Arthur is on. Before she can do anything about it, she is kidnapped by the old lady Bond villain. Meanwhile, on the ship, the killer has tried to frame that pro-wrestler-looking rat-loving giant, Charlie. But Charlie is able to bust through a steel ship door and goes on a murderous rampage before overheating the ship's engines, which will cause it to blow up. Charlie also turned off the power, which is killing the algae they found that is supposedly worth millions and millions of dollars. But they build a device to hold the algae and go for a lifeboat to get away from the ship before it blows. On the way to the boat, they run into a drunk, angry crew member who threatens to kill Arthur's daughter. Arthur tries to trade his algae for his daughter, but the crew member just chucks it overboard into the ocean. More on that at the end. They still end up disarming the crew member and Arthur shoots him in the head. Out on the lifeboat, we learn the answers to everything. Arthur cut off his partner's head because his partner found out that the algae is actually a poison that will speed up global warming instead of fixing it. Yeah, that's bad. So Arthur killed him so he wouldn't expose this, hoping that with more time he could figure it out. Arthur then had to kill everyone else to try to keep the original murder quiet. He feels comfortable telling the others on the lifeboat, because he injected the poisonous algae into their water bottles, and they are now slowly dying. Yeah, that's harsh. Arthur also gets lucky, for the last time, that the other scientist who escaped was trying to steal his research and save some extra algae. After the backstabbing scientist and his head of security, who is boning his daughter, die, it's just Arthur and his daughter left. Arthur desperately tries to get his daughter to understand, but she just can't get over that he's a murderer who killed her boyfriend and basically abandoned her as a child to focus on his work, so she pulls him overboard to drown him. We learned earlier in the season that his daughter could hold her breath for over two minutes, so Arthur has no chance. She drowns Arthur and is rescued. Back on the boat, the remaining two crew members are able to stop the boat from blowing up, but Charlie killed them by releasing CO2, which is ironic because the whole point of the mission was to find an algae that could get rid of CO2 in the atmosphere. The police land on the boat and kill poor old Charlie, who at least got to blow the ship's horn first. The season ends with Maggie talking to the Bond villain lady, 
learning that she's okay with her finally killing Arthur once he gets the algae, because then the other scientists can take over. She lets Maggie go, and she heads off to the hospital after learning that there was one survivor from the ship. She is hoping that it's Arthur so she can finally finish the job. She slits her wrist to sneak into the hospital, yeah, she's pretty wild, and finds the room. But she is disappointed to discover that the survivor is actually Arthur's daughter, who tells Maggie that Arthur is dead. It ends with Maggie being confused, and then getting a mean look on her face. We are left to wonder, did she kill her? Well, let's discuss. I like that Season 2 left us on a cliffhanger, because it leaves open the possibility of a Season 3. I don't think that Maggie killed Arthur's daughter. My theory is that they will team up in Season 3 to go after the Bond villain lady and her company. Arthur's daughter also knows that the algae is poison, and they'll have to stop them from destroying the environment. My other theory is that the algae that was thrown overboard into the ocean will kill everything around it and start to spread. This will make Maggie and Arthur's daughter the heroes of Season 3. It also seems like there's another company that was trying to steal the work, the one that hired the backstabbing scientist and helped her get that containment unit onto the ship. So there's definitely a lot of potential story for a Season 3, which I really hope we get to see, but so far there have been no announcements. Now, if there's just some way they could bring back Johan from Season 1 to get his revenge, that would make for a perfect Season 3. Now, thank you everyone for watching. If you're enjoying the video, please hit those like and subscribe buttons and help out this middle-aged man. I'll be back soon with some more videos, but until then, I'm going to link a couple here at the end for you to check out. Once again, I'm Brent the Middleman. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.